Hello everyone and good afternoon. Now we're on our third day of our series about how um, how Satan is trapping us and, and we are on the word secrets. So far we've talked about secret life and secret hate. So those are two things. Secret life is when you're living a double life wherein you will have uh, what you call this where you have um, your you your you have this life as a Christian and you have a life of a sinner but it can't be because you can't serve two masters at the same time if you are for God be for God because God in Revelation Jesus in, um, in Revelation John prophesied or saw this and that God said that he would speak those who are lukewarm so it's either you're hot or you're cold then yesterday we talked about hate how many of us hate others secretly? Now we have to come and done. We have to give that to God so that we will be able to love everyone else. And the peace of God cannot be with us if we are hating other people. Our verse yesterday talks about uh, inefficiency, talks about not um, allowing the sun to go down with our hate. Now today we'll have a different verse and it's still about, um, what you call this, it's about um, lust so secret lust that's what we will be talking about today and um before we begin of course let's pray father in heaven we praise and thank you for today thank you for your greatness for your love thank you lord because you're always there for us you're looking at how you could improve us and not our failures Lord, thank you for protecting us for everything that you're doing for us. Thank you for blessing the works of our hands. Lord, forgive us for the times that we feel very weak, when we feel like we are strong. Lord, let it be you who will be glorified in our lives. Father, if there's any sins in our hearts, anything, Lord, that we've done that is pleased to you, please forgive us. Allow us to commune with you today. Allow us to talk to you today and allow us to seek and find you today. Talk to us, Father God. Open our hearts and our minds as we study your words and let it be you who will be glorified today, no one else. All these we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, our verse is found in chapter uh, in Matthew chapter 25, verses 27 and 28. So lust, we're talking about lust. Lust is like looking at someone, looking at things, and then you want to possess it. Okay, look. Um, in verse 27, Matthew chapter 5, verse 27 and 28, that's our verses for today. It says, you have learned, you have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. You know, I'll come and done. I'll, I'll, um, everybody knows that it's my girls are my weakness. And there are times that when, um, when I see beautiful ladies and stuff my mind blows out of me it thinks about a lot of things it has secret lust of course i'm i'm holding back from myself because before i used to pursue it now i don't but still this thinking of lust this thinking of looking at a person to lust after them meaning to have a um a desire is we're already committing adultery in the heart. It's not just for men. I'm sure women are also uh, thinking about this or stuff like this. But you see, the Bible is very clear that we should not engage in secret lust. When when you say secret lust, it's just like when you when you uh, have this person and then you have uh, ill intentions. Because what happens was, what happens is. If this person approaches you and you will have a different, um, uh, what you call this, different way of communicating with this person because you have a secret admiration. I'm not saying that admiration is good, okay? Uh, let me rephrase it. The secret lust that you will have, you want to engage into sexual relationship or sexual action with someone. In our age today, pornography is so rampant. Even when you're looking at a video in Facebook or wherever, you, when you scroll, you'll see pop-ups. You'll see a lot of things about lust, about porn, about the devil. And what's, what, what, um, what's very clear is that these people 
when they do their sexy stuff, where they do their lust, where they do this this um, enticing thing, they even have horns showing that it's really the devil who's trying to to engage you. But people still wants to watch. The rate of pornography in the Philippines and all over the world is staggering. You will not believe that around 80% of the population engages in porn. We say soft porn or whatever it is, especially the young ones. And that's very sad. Thinking that it's okay just to lust after a person. Anyway, I'm not doing anything. I'm just thinking about it. But Jesus is very clear here. You have heard that it is. it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully, or in other versions it says, to look at a woman to lust after her, already committed adultery with her in the heart. Let's be very careful in things like this. There's, um, there's always this struggle. And that's why I've heard a lot of testimony about when you see a beautiful woman, just appreciate, but don't look back. Don't have second look. Because if you have second look, then that's there will be some intentions there and you'll continue to second look, third look, fourth look, fifth look, and whatever look. <laughs> okay. But I, I, I want to remind each and every one of us that if we want to live a holy life with God, God is a jealous God. He have given us our partners. He has given us, um, He's entrusted us with people that would be best for us. If we're continuing to pursue. This is a very hard thing to do. Honestly, a lot of people, a lot of Christians are struggling with this. But by God's grace, these Christians, a lot of Christians has also overcame this. So whenever you think that you can't do it, come and done tell God every time what I do is whenever I'm I'm, I'm at risk or I'm uh, especially I'm always alone I, I travel a lot what I do is I pray read the Bible it's corny, corny. it's corny yes because before I used to um, what I do before is when I see someone okay let me show my charisma wow even if I'm not handsome but I have this ways you know I, 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 I can talk sweet to people but that's not how it is right now. Because I've learned that looking at a woman to lust after them, or the other way around, like if you're a lady looking at the men to lust after them, it's already committing adultery in the heart. And adultery, adulterers will not possess the kingdom of heaven, cannot enter the kingdom of God. If you think that it's okay, because there were no actions then, Jesus is clear. Our minds plays a lot of tricks to us. And we need to be very careful on how we think. And it all starts with what we see. That's why you and I should always be discerning. You and I should always watch. You and I should always be communed with God so that He will be able to help us overcome these struggles. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you very much, Lord, for your words, for your reminder that by just looking at a woman or a man to lust after them we are already committing sins of adultery through that person's heart father in our world today it's evolving and evolving more liberated help us to stand ground stand for you if ever we fail lord and whenever we fail don't allow us whenever we think of justifying ourselves that there's nothing going to happen put us away from that situation Lord so that we will not be able to be trapped that the devil will not be able to trap us Lord let you be glorified in our lives whether through our actions or through our thinking all this we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Amen brothers and sisters we can do this if we have God with us. But if not, then we can't do anything. Maybe you think that you're strong enough. No, you aren't. When you think that you're strong, you're at your weakest. But when you're at your weakest and you submit to God, 
then you are at your strongest. I'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.